สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m u s t a n z a Today is Thursday, November 24. Happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans out there. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. It seems to be the same thing every week as yesterday. Again, saw floods hit major roads and areas across the island as a large storm front passed over Phuket, dumping an hours-long deluge. Affected by the downpours were Chalong, Gatu, Phuket Town, and areas along the west coast. All of these areas saw not only floods but heavy traffic, including on the bypass road, which rarely suffers flooding since drainage was installed as part of the underpass construction years ago. In Phuket Town, pumps were deployed to help divert rising water, especially near the Bang Yai Canal. And no major flooding was reported in the area, certainly not as bad as a few weeks ago. The head of the disaster prevention office near Phuket stated that the flash flooding was exacerbated by the high tide last night, and officers have been dispatched to assist in areas where flood waters remain. Officials are also monitoring the level of safety at the Patong Hill site to ensure that motorists will not be affected near the landslide site. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. In the bid to clean up Bangla Road so it's not annoying to tourists, officials are reporting that they could be making changes to the popular nightlife area and calling on transgenders and touts to be registered in order to ply their trade on the street while removing food vendors with sidecars that to a specially designated area. A meeting was held on Tuesday, chaired by the Phuket Provincial Chief Administrative Officer, held to discuss ways to reduce factors on Bangla Road that quote annoy tourists. During the meeting, the president of the Patong Entertainment Business Association, Wirawit k r u s a m b a t called on officials to broaden the range of people and activities that are to be brought under control on Bangla Road. In his request, he stated quote. I therefore would like to propose to organize the lady boys who come to harass guests on Soi Bangla. There are at least 100 of them waiting at various points along the street, propositioning prostitution to tourists. Sometimes they steal from tourists, Mr. w i d a w e t said. People come from Pattaya and Bangkok who do not know who is who and think that in Soi Bangla there should not be lady boys who sell prostitution to tourists. He added. If we are unable to manage them, it would be wise to have them registered to know who is there. If anything happens, we would be able to track them down. He went on to say, "This includes touts soliciting customers. There are a lot of them as well. Touts often harass tourists and often offer prices higher than what it actually costs at the store. Some of them have weapons, sell drugs to tourists, and sometimes they are involved in problems involving physically assaulting tourists. This group too should be controlled." They should be registered, and it should be recorded which venue they work for, instead of letting them work freely like ghosts, as it is today. He later called for all taxis, tuk-tuks, and motorcycle taxis at each end of Soi Bangla to be controlled, while also requesting officials to allow marijuana to be sold and smoked under formal rules. An official report of the meeting, without naming any persons responsible for the decisions, said that. Vendors selling food from motorbikes with sidecars will be banned from entering the street, but will be found appropriate sites to sell their food elsewhere. While the sale of alcohol openly by touts would be banned entirely, an official report from the meeting also stated that transgender and touts will have to be registered in order to ply their trade on the street, and touts will have to register which business they work for. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. A land transport expert is warning officials here in Phuket to expect huge traffic jams on t e p k a s a t r i Road if construction of the light rail project begins before the expressway is completed. Several massive infrastructure projects are planned for Phuket over the coming decade. The long-talked-about light rail project that would run from the mainland through the Phuket Airport and down to the Chalong Pier, as well as the 30-kilometer-long Muang Mai. k o k e o g a t u Expressway that would connect to the third infrastructure project, the Patong Tunnel. The director of the Regional Transport and Traffic Systems Promotion Bureau attended a meeting of the Phuket Provincial Land Transport Committee yesterday and warned them that, despite the mega projects meant to alleviate traffic woes on the island, if it's not done correctly, it would do the exact opposite and create massive traffic on the island. 
He warned that the construction on the expressway, specifically the part that would run parallel to Route 402 or Tepcasatri Road, would need to be completed in order to partially drain the volume of traffic from Tepcasatri Road. Specifically, he stated that the whole expressway would need to be constructed before the light rail project in order to reduce traffic, otherwise it would increase traffic. The Muangmai Kokeo Katu Expressway would cover 30 kilometers and start at Tambon Tepcasatri, continue south to Kokeo, and then run parallel to the bypass road or Route 4024 before connecting with Route 4029 Prabarami Road before connecting to the proposed Patong Tunnel project. The expressway is still undergoing an environmental impact assessment, which began on April 1st, scheduled to take 15 months. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. A photo released by a popular Thai columnist could be prompting FIFA to pull the plug on Thailand's broadcasting of the 2022 World Cup final. Ken Sarika, a popular Thai columnist, posted a photo of World Cup fans in neighboring Laos cheering on teams on the TV screen, despite the fact that Laos does not hold the rights to broadcast any of the World Cup matches. This prompted FIFA to issue a warning to officials at the Sports Authority of Thailand that they could revoke the country's broadcasting rights for the massive sporting event for not following FIFA's broadcasting transmission encryption standard. The SAT governor has asked broadcast regulators here in the kingdom to ensure that all parties strictly follow the standard, including five multiplexer DTTs, Tycom PLC, and all companies providing set-top box services. FIFA has asked the SAT to strictly encrypt its over-the-air transmission at least to the minimum standard, or Thailand will forfeit its World Cup broadcasting rights, just as the tournament is in the opening stages. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thank you so much for watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.